Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is is doing well today and I hope you had a wonderful wonderful Thanksgiving. Currently it is Black Friday and yeah. So there is that. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. I am going to be breaking down my paycheck too, which ironically is the week that is Thanksgiving as well as Black Friday. Although for my company, because we're closed on Friday, they gave us the money on Wednesday, well, Wednesday night. So I got my paycheck a little early. I was at home the whole day of Thanksgiving, except maybe, actually, no, I wasn't. I went to actually go get some sodas because I forgot. And lo and behold, for the first time ever in my lifetime, at least, Walmart was actually closed. Yes, I was very surprised. But with the whole things happening this year, I really shouldn't have been. But, you know, it's Walmart. They're always open for some reason. But I guess they wanted to give their people a chance to enjoy Thanksgiving with their families. So... I can appreciate that. But luckily, Walgreens was open, so I was able to grab some sodas. Actually, I went to CBS, went Walgreens and CBS, because I had to pick up my mom's cigarettes. <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened on Thanksgiving. And then I got to enjoy a wonderful, restful day. But that's not what we're here for, right? We are here to see where I'm putting my money for my second paycheck of November. So let's see how much I'm getting paid from this paycheck. So I did have a rollover from my leftover money. So it came out to be $38.99, which is really good for me. Usually I end up with maybe $5. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. want you guys to be able to see it. And for my paycheck income, I basically got what I usually get, which is, forgot to put the date. So 11.27. So I got paid $907 and 91 cents so let's total that up okay so i'm gonna total up the 907.91 with the 38.99 just so i can see what i'm working with 907 91 plus 38.99. That's a total of $946.90, which is gonna help me. All right, so that is what I'm working with for this paycheck. So let's see what my bills are looking like. So, for my bills. So, for my paycheck too, I usually pay the beginning of the next month's bills with this one. So, it's going to be my electric. My CarMax, which is my car bill. And it's also gonna be my student loan, my Navient, what used to be Chase and AES. My JetBlue. My Target. 
and then of course my subscriptions. And that's it for the bills and expenses. I just hated it when it was crooked before, so I just want to make sure I put it in. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. And here I was blabbering, and I never introduced myself. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana, and I'm on my debt-free journey, trying to pay off over $108,000 in credit cards, car loan and student loans so if you'd like to follow me on my journey please hit that subscribe button and join me and if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back so now that that's out of the way <laughs> we're gonna get on to the nitty-gritty of the bills so the budgeted amount for my electric it, this is for next month I have not done let me see, what did I put for the electric last month? I put electric at $150. So we have that. And in actuality, it was very close actually this month, $150 and $150.15. So I just went over by 15 cents, which nothing to cry about <laughs> and that is surprising because usually i'm either way below or way over so the next one is carmax and that one i know by heart it's always the same 307 19 307 19. and then navian has been the same for the last couple months so it's 137 and 137. Those are predictable, as well as the Jet Blue. Always put the Jet Blue at 32. Just because it's usually about 31 and change, and I just like to round it up. Now, the Target, I believe I put 50, but I'm not positive. Yes. So it stayed the same. It's $50 and $50. Like it when it doesn't change much. As well as subscriptions is always $25 for me. So this was a relatively easy paycheck to do. But I want to add it up to see the difference with the 15 cents. I'm sure it's not going to be that much different. Make sure you guys can see. So let me add it up. All right, so the total for the budgeted came out to be $701.19. So that's what I expected. And in actuality, it came out to be It came out to be 701.34, so 15 cents more. Not bad. So now we get to go to the cash and savings, which is always changing for me. Sometimes I put money down for my personal and budgeted. Sometimes I don't. Just depends on how much money I have. So for cash and savings, it's always groceries. 
I always budget $100 for the budgeted and actual. Gas, I usually budget 40 but I'm going to stick with the $20 because it's been working my favor this month. So that's the same. And then we have savings, which is an automated thing. Whenever I get a paycheck, $10 goes into that. So that is typical. And for personal and food, I don't think I'm gonna do anything for personal food just because I do have a lot of leftover food and the weekend so basically the month ends in like three days so i'm not gonna budget that in here just because it's not gonna make much sense so i'm just gonna leave it like that i could i've been doing good with not spending at the beginning of the month so i'm gonna keep that like that so we have 150 I don't even need a calculator for this for for the budgeted and then 130 was the actual all right so we're gonna get to the big num see what we have left over to work with there we go so we had income we had bills and then we had cash and savings So, for budgeted on the income, I'm putting 900, and the actual was 907.90. No, ugh, I did it again. Forgot the 946. So let me grab the whiteout. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so the actual was 946.90. And for bills and expenses, the budgeted was 701.19. The actual came out to be 701.34. And the cash and savings budgeted was 150. And the actual was 130. So let's see, once we subtract this, what we get. So, so let's see what we get when we subtract everything. There we go. So the budgeted is going to be We're gonna have leftover if it was what we had for budgeted 4881. But that's not what we had. So we're gonna see what the actual came out to be. So what we had left over was $115, hold on, let me double check this. Doesn't sound right. Let's 
So it looks like we're gonna have a leftover amount of $115.56. So it's gonna be a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. I guess because of the rollover amount. Let me zoom you out a little bit. I'm assuming it's because of the rollover amount. So that is really good. I'm really excited about that. I always like to have money that I didn't know I was gonna have. Now, I'm gonna try my best not to use this money. I'm gonna wait until the end of the month. And if I still have all of it, which is only three days, so if I have this in three days, the 115.56, I will be putting it all towards my Amazon card, which I'm so excited. And there's also, when I do my budget closeout, I'll show you how much money I have left from my cash envelopes that I use all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video from my cash envelopes that I use all the time so that I can add towards my little envelope of debt money that I had from the first paycheck. So oh, we're gonna knock this Amazon card out quickly, guys. I'm so excited. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and join my YouTube family. I would really love it if you did help me on this long journey that I am on, but I'm working on making it as short as I can. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.